Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, the 12th of March, getting close to spring here. Uh, we are looking at the YM, we're looking at the E-mini Dow futures contract here. And as you can see, the market opened up well, you know, considerably higher, right? We closed right in here yesterday. And we opened up in here. And look at the first 15 minutes. Literally straight up. Okay, this market, short term at least, is extremely, extremely oversold. So I am anticipating you know, an update today, to be quite frank. And so what I've done is I typically wait. Eh, well, I like to wait that first half hour a lot of times, but sometimes when, when you get that big initial rush, the, the, the big initial push like we've seen this morning, I don't want to miss a bigger move. So I've gotten in probably about a quarter of my position right in here, okay? So I'm long from up in here, but I am waiting patiently for the market to come back further. So what I've done is I've measured the Fibonacci retracements from the low of today so far to the high. And as you can see, I've got my 38 and 50% retracement, which I'm looking to key in on on a pullback here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you this entire trade from beginning to end. So again, I'm long from up in here but I am looking for that pullback to add to this position again I've only got about a quarter of my position on I've got about five I've got five contracts on right now but let's just see how this entire trade pans out so I'm gonna pause the video so it's not too long all right as you can see this market is pushing nicely higher just like we thought that's why we wanted to get in a portion of the position we didn't want to get the whole position in so I'm going to go ahead and take off just three right now. Okay, lock in some profit here. Here we go. Sell three at the market. No. Okay, so we locked in $255. Not a whole lot, but still it's not even 10 o'clock. So we've got two contracts left. So let's move that down to two. <clears throat> and I'm going to pretty much watch this closely still. I still think we can push higher before we get a little closer to 10 where I believe we'll get some type of counter trend move and that's where I'm gonna uh, look to go uh, much bigger and I want to show you the whole thing here so let me pause this video alright we're gonna watch this a little closer we're pretty much at break even on the remaining two uh, two contracts here but again this market comes down into a logical support I'm gonna to look to go much larger okay so this is these are the areas I'm looking for okay remember I've only got two left we've booked 255 so far we're up sixty dollars in the position and I'm, I'm, I'm watching this closely and let me pause it again alright this is what I'm looking at right now alright we break down through this low here I'll exit the remaining portion of my position and my thought is if we break down through this low we'll head down to right in here where we can look to pick it up and buy a lot more and look for that move up okay so that's my plan I'm gonna hold off right now and pause it all right I am out of that trade now market obviously lost its steam right so we got on board once we saw I mean we had one two three four five consecutive higher highs higher lows here right out of the gate after gapping nicely which told me yes there was still room in it to go and that's exactly what we did we took some profits we watched it very closely market start to consolidate a little bit up in here took this out if we run now am I gonna be upset no I, I made a little bit right I made 255 bucks the market will pull back at some point today so I'm going to see how far uh, we can pull back in here. So I'm going to pause the video again, see if I can get another trade here. All right, as you can see, I've got my order sitting right there at that 38.2. We'll see if we're hit. So we have pulled back. So look at this. As soon as the market took out that low, as, just as expected, we, we would anticipate the market to finally find some resistance and come down to a logical support level before moving higher. Because I truly believe this market is going to move higher and try to at least test the high of the day. So we'll see. All right, I decided to enter with just five because it missed my position at 10. 
It just missed that 38.2% retracement. Decided to enter right in here because I didn't want to miss the move. We should get a move at least halfway back. And so I didn't want to miss it. So look at if this market comes down through this low, then I then I'll will I will buy more because I am convinced this market will go higher. Uh, try to retest the high of the day is what I'm anticipating. Again, short term markets extremely over sold and I think we are due for some type of bounce and so that's what I'm looking for so again a rather small position down in here in case this market did drop a bit further I would have bought more uh, let's just pause and let's see what happens alright this market should pop the S&P's are starting to move higher a little quicker than the Dow here so I'm watching this very close look at the S&P's have just broken the last three minute bar high where the Dow hasn't so let's see what follows which. Let's see if the Dow moves and breaks. Again, on a three-minute E-mini S&P 500 chart, we have broken through the prior three-minute bar high. The Dow hasn't been able to do that. Let's see. All right, here we go. Market's starting to move higher. Finally, just broke up through this high here, so I think we are good, pretty good. I'm going to look to take off four at the market. All right, sell four. Order. Boom, oh. there we go. So we've got 565. We're up 565. Market's been open for less than an hour. We've got one contract left. And I'm going to pretty much put this at even down right near the low of this bar. We'll see if we can try to see if we can retest the high of the day now. Okay, pause the video again. Be back soon. All right, I'm going to take the last one off because I, I just, we are running out of steam right now. And there we go. Oh, what the happened there? Place, oh, there we go. Place market order. Order filled. All right, so we are flat. And we made six six hundred and twenty five dollars again in the YM. Just okay, not bad. So hopefully you can learn a little something from this and how I explained to you why I took this trade here, how I took profits, my thoughts on when it broke down through this slow that the market would continue going lower, at least to the thirty eight two. Missed it. Got in here. Didn't want to miss the uh, the move back up to test that high. So got in. Again, it pulled back a little further. I was prepared to go at the 50 pretty much automatically and double up there, looking for the move that we got here, and then just decided to take the profit again. Um, we'll see. Look at this market. Probably will continue higher, but again, 625, not bad. I'm sure there will be more trades today, and I will try to record those, but let's get this up first. So learn from this. If you've got any questions, let me know. Have a great day.